Whatever sort of day was it to be for London, the underground closed for a one-day strike, unofficial but hitting the public hard. Traffic soon began to jam as the rush hours approached. Thousands had to come by car or stay at home. Oh no, said this gent, no strike gets him down. Traffic from south of the Thames was soon bumper to bumper. Buses were packed, but hopelessly inadequate. People were realizing how much London depends on the underground. On all the bridges, it was the same story. Strictly for one day only, the motorist had the authorities on his side. You could park almost anywhere. And if you don't have a car, why not skate? Naturally, nine out of ten people were late at work. Some arrived at lunchtime to meet early starters for home. While buses crawled, many motorists gave lifts. Some had quite a load. That's that little lot. Now the second-class passengers. 